Okay, today we're looking at the Apple Watch 7 to see how much RF, which is the radio frequency levels this watch is outputting when it's on fully and it's connected to the iPhone. And the RF is the radio frequency again. It's the one I'm most concerned with. It's the one that potentially can cause the most harm according to research. We're also looking at the EMF, which is the electromagnetic frequency and that one is going to be pretty low on such a small device. It's 1.8. If you look at the scale to the upper left, you can see it's 8.4, 192, so you're getting quite a spike depending on what it's calling and communicating with the iPhone. 9.1, and then it'll jump all the way back into the 100 range as soon as anything or any signal comes into it. So that's potentially quite high to be on your wrist, potentially 24-7. Okay, let's go ahead and try this watch on airplane mode. Right now it's not in airplane mode, it's fully functional, communicating with the iPhone. So I'm going to wait for a spike to come up and then I'm going to hit airplane mode. Let's get the Wi-Fi off. Okay, 9.8, 8.63. One forty-seven. Let's go ahead and hit the spike. Airplane mode. It drops all the way down to 0 .038. That's quite significant drop using airplane mode. I didn't find this if I used airplane mode with the iPhone, where it didn't drop that much compared to regular use. But with the iWatch 7, it's definitely dropping a lot. Let's go ahead and take the airplane mode off right back up to 162, 160, 158. So it definitely significantly cuts down the RF energy. One thing you want to note here, notice we have this Wi-Fi signal on. Let's get that off. And let's put it on airplane mode. And then it's going to drop it down significantly. Again, you can see the scale to point zero three. One thing to note, when the Wi-Fi scale is on in airplane mode, you're going to go right back into the higher levels. So you want to make sure that this Wi-Fi wi mode is also turned off with airplane mode both. Because once again, if you leave this Wi-Fi mode on, you're going to get higher levels. Let's take the Wi-Fi mode off with airplane mode on, and you can see you've dropped down considerably. So if you're going to wear your iPhone watch at night for a sleep detector, I would definitely recommend turning it to airplane mode and make sure the Wi-Fi mode is off as well. Or if just general use, you know, if you're not needing to communicate with your iPhone, it'd be a good idea to turn it on airplane mode and make sure the Wi-Fi mode is off as well so you can lower your EMF and your RF exposure. And better yet, if you want to make sure you're not getting any of the exposure, go ahead and turn the Bluetooth function off so it does not communicate with your iPhone and then you'll be pretty much RF free throughout the day. I hope that helps. One thing to note, this Apple Watch 7 is not cellular capable. So I did not test a cellular capable Apple Watch.